let me show you how to get the best results when you're using a visualizer to prepare a remodeling job. So let's imagine that this is the house that we need to prepare for a remodel and we need to take a photo of it to upload into the visualizer. So I'm using my iPhone today, but any smartphone, Android will work just fine. Uh, so I'm just gonna line up here. Hopefully we can zoom in on that. So I'm just gonna make sure that the house is nice and straight on, that we have a bunch of roofing in there and take note that we are taking a photo when it's most bright outside. So I'm just gonna snap a couple for good measure. And notice that I have that door in there too, because that's what the AI uses for scale. So I will see you on the computer and see how those turn out. Now, before we get onto the computer, the easiest way to begin a design is through your mobile device. From there, we can seamlessly transition onto a desktop where the visualizer has more robust design capabilities. I'll show you what I mean. Open the visualizer link on your phone's web browser. Since I'm approaching the visualizer as a first time user, you'll see I have to go through an input flow to access the AI. This is likely how homeowners will begin their projects, unlike contractors who own a visualizer and will probably just see the submit button. Once the project has been uploaded, you can begin designing on your phone. This should work just fine. But for a more immersive design experience, we'll want to transition over to the desktop. To do this, Complete your account through the hamburger menu in the top right corner of your screen. Once that's finished, click the Save button located here, right above your design. Now you're set. You can now log on to the desktop visualizer and continue your design there. All right, perfect. So as you guys can see, I am now in the desktop editor. Um, I just pulled up my web browser, put the link in. And since we already essentially started the project on our phone, we can skip this section. But if you do want to start from here, if you upload the photo from your phone into your desktop um, and put it into here, it'll work the exact same. We just sort of like to skip this step as it is easier, especially if you're going into a physical consultation to sort of snap it with your phone, get it started and then you know transition to the desktop. So since we did already create an account, I'm just going to go over here to the sign in button on the top right. Click in, you'll see my information auto populate. Perfect. So this intake stuff has disappeared, which is sort of a surefire way to tell that we are now into our account. So I'm gonna go over to my projects and we should see the project that we started on our phone. So yes, I'm gonna click into it. And as you can see, everything is uh, perfect. Um, we are going to save the editing tool stuff for another video, but I will apply a product just to kind of show you guys one more time what it does. So I'm not designing with any palette in mind, just kind of clicking as I go, but you should see the roof change here. So. It does look good, it applied it well, but um, from what I can tell, this product looks a little too big, right? So there's certain things we can do in this little edit tool here um, in order to make that visualization look better. So we can mess with its perspective, we can draw different groups so you can see these little notches, but uh, that is a little bit more complicated and we wanna give people who sorta of just want a quick start, get a quick visualization going, started with this video. So if you are curious about sort of the more robust sections of the visualizer, uh, click one of the cards either on the left or right side and see what you can do with the visualizer editing tools. But for now, that is it. I hope you guys can successfully start your projects by taking a photo um, and uploading it into a visualizer. So um, that is it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.